Hi, my name is Risa Harrington, and I have written a book that is called Entity Attachment Removal. It's the ABC of releasing spirit attachments for do-it-yourselfers like me. Um, I was plagued all through with my childhood and adolescence with attachments, uh, anomalies, things that I couldn't explain or even talk about to others. And it took me a lifetime to figure this stuff out, so this is a um, journey that I spent a lifetime discovering and analyzing and fretting about and uh, suffering from <laughs> greatly until I learned how to open to the world of spirit and angels and discovered that I was a medium and that I could understand what was happening to me and help others also by diagnosing and helping them to release their uh, spirit attachments. So I'm going to talk today just basically about the most common symptoms of entity attachment, which is uh, the ability to, you know, we, we sense and we feel things and we, we see dark shapes at times, especially in the hours between um, um, sunset. <laughs> you know, the, the hour that is talked about by the the oracles and the mystics over time, the, and the people like me, many authors, um, talk about the hours between dusk and a sunset as the time where the veils thin between the dimensions and we can see it interdimensionally, especially from our uh, per perfer peripheral uh, perspective. And <clears throat> we can see things moving about the room and we sometimes directly see um, darkness, especially when the lights are out at night and we're about to go to sleep, we, we sense these things more clearly. Uh, hearing voices uh, audibly and telepathically, uh, people are plagued with audible um, disturbance, voices in their ears that they can hear uh, physically with their ears, and this causes people to think they're going insane. It's an extreme intrusion of privacy and personal integrity and soul freedom intrusion that is not acceptable. It is extreme violent or um, violation of our privacy. Um, sometimes painful neck and shoulders and back is a sign of uh, extreme intrusion and this is the um, sorry to say, demonic presence uh, where this is, is most prevalent. They uh, come in, entities as well, um, come in through the medulla oblongata where there's a recess at the top of our neck and the bottom of our skull. And that's where the entry point is for other souls to intrude upon us and to in infiltrate our, our bodies and our souls. And this is an extreme intrusion of privacy and our free will right. And this is why we are uh, on a lifetime purpose now to free all souls. And obviously the spiritual hierarchy is going to be able to affect this change more greatly than I. But I am one of many that is intent on bringing this freedom of our free will choice to be free as God made us to be. Uh, on this earth, and uh, so this is the work we do. Uncharacteristic bursts of emotion is a powerful sign that uh, you have a blatant soul intrusion. Um, a lot of times this is just a simple uh, unhealed trauma within us that attracts through the natural law of attraction a lost soul who is someone who died on earth and has not yet transferred to the spirit realms because they're confused, they're lost, they're, they're unhealed in their emotions and they're afraid, they're, they're full of fears. Uh, many, many reasons why people uh, stay in the astral realms versus crossing through the light to the spirit realms. And these souls, are, through the law of attraction, are drawn to us and they also come in through the medulla oblongata and very naturally uh, just attached to us because the gravitation pull uh, to a live human being with a similar unhealed emotion is more comfortable uh, to them from being, than being alone. And so these are <clears throat> very naturally removed and counseled and crossed the spirit realms by our organization as well. Um, anyway, I was talking about uncharacteristic bursts of, of emotions um, and <clears throat> this is where we 
all of a sudden have phobias that we don't normally have. Something um, is dis being displayed in our character that is incongruent with who we normally are. Our loved ones, our friends can help point these out to us if we're not consciously aware of them ourselves. Sexual interference um, are serious violations. This is uh, something that's important to be reported to, to a medium who can uh, diagnose your symptoms uh, accurately and um, prescribe uh, the correct diagnostic treatment plan for you. Uh, it's very embarrassing to to admit, and it causes some shame. Uh, there are also unhealed emotions within us that cause this disturbance, as well as some demonic influence, as well as ancestral curses and things that we um, do get into in our writings. But um, these are d d delicate uh, circumstances I don't really like to discuss publicly a lot because I don't want to disorient people or um, repel them to our work, right? Um, implants and alien and de uh, demonic implants are the cause of very sinister um, methods of the dark force um, agenda that is prevalent on the earth and is also not publicized greatly and is not um, publicly uh, dis discussed greatly because it is such a um, bizarre um, conspiracy theory type of mentality, right? Um, my own family doesn't like to discuss these sorts of things and I'm careful of who I discuss them with. A, a lot of clients are suffering from alien implants and this causes um, uh, hallucinations, uh, which can be individual and also mass hallucinations are caused by alien implants and uh, great sound sensitivity and sleeplessness. Uh, these are just a few of the um, symptoms that alien implants cause. These are mind control uh, devices that are just very manipulative and would like to control resources of the earth for their own uh, purposes. Uh, it's a very confusing su subject matter. If, if uh, my audience would like to learn more about implants, especially alien implants, um, the only reputable source that I have found is the ascensionglossary.com. And this has a lot of valuable information that my own Ascended Master guidance approves of, and this is why I'm recommending it in this video. We do diagnostic readings at guidelights.org, our website, and uh, this is very inexpensive and very accurate. I work with the angels as well as the Ascended, ascended Masters to accurately diagnose the soul intrusions that are occurring within um, clients and our success rate is fairly high and those that are ready to be healed and to step into the light as their um, new way of being upon the earth are uh, greatly assisted by our work and again i am the author of entity attachment removal and my name is risa harrington god bless Thank you.